Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. You don't have your glass. Oh, Happy take your, anniversary. Take your cup. This is my fresh pineapple juice from Jalen because. Cheers. Cheers. Happy anniversary. 36 Thanks years. 36 years. Thank you, Jalen, for the pine fresh pineapple juice that you uh, gave me for health and for the floaters that's in my eyes that will be gone. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Anyway, so we're here. We just celebrated our. 36th year. wedding anniversary and um we've had some people ask us how we met so we're just going to share a little bit of our story of how we met and um hope that it inspires those of you out there that are either married praying for the one, right one to get married or you're with somebody and you're not sure if you want to get married yet um guys and girls this is for mm -hmm. both of you and um, those that um, have been married for over 20 years, over 30 years like us, and you're wanting a little inspiration, whatever category you fall into, we just pray that um, our testimony will inspire you Bye. today. So cheers to you and your relationships out there. God bless you guys. All right, so how did we meet, Pa? Uh, yeah, wow, how did we meet? Really, 36 years, but it seems like a lot shorter. It doesn't seem like Does. 36 years. Time is going by really fast. Yeah, it, it's flown by. It really has. Um, yeah. I was up here from South Carolina pursuing a dream of mine. Mm -hmm. And it was a week. I think it was Saturday. What was your dream? Um, To sell clothes. <laughs> Your but, dream was it to sell clothes. Yes, it was. It was oh. always. That's what, that's what I was doing oh, that when was I was what in South you were Carolina. Doing when? And I decided to do it a different way. Right. Pursue a dream, selling clothes a different way. Mm -hmm. Retail sales, I was in, doing well, having a good time, enjoying it. And, and as a hobby, I was modeling as well. Mm -hmm. Fashion shows, had this, we put this group together. So he's going around. Isn't he um, cute? He, he's, he's such a great modeler, as someone called him, a modeler. It's so actually a model, but hey. So we're going around doing these shows and stuff. And I, and I said, oh, this is fun. We were ha just having fun. It was a hobby. And one thing led to another. Got involved with this agency that was like another city. In New York in, City. It, no, it was first. Oh, oh. It was in right. Columbia. Yes, yes, yes. And they were... Like a professional agency, but in Columbia, not on a national level. And did that for about a year, and it was fun. Got some little gigs here and there. It was fun. And they would have this annual event where all this talent, these agencies from around the world, uh, mainly uh, New York, would come and, and, and view these talent shows. And I met an agent that spoke uh, of uh, a lot of interest uh, in me coming up and pursuing the the, uh, the uh, it as a career. And I was like, great, that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And so they said, we'll you know we'll send tickets, this that, and the other. And I'm like, yeah, right. Um, but my agency called me that the next week and said they're very interested. It's serious. Um, tickets, you can uh, they're going to send tickets. But nothing's promised, you know? So that's how I started. Got the tickets. So the South Carolina boy gave who was originally a boy born gave in, up my career. in New Jersey. Gave up my he car. was originally wait, you were gave originally born in New Jersey. Everything. Everything. <laughs> moved to South Carolina. His family moved to South Carolina. He starts selling clothes oh, at the mall. Oh, you're going back. Okay. Yeah. Starts oh, selling yeah. clothes at the mall, right? And then he gets noticed as being a model an agency contacts him to fly up to new york this yep. was in 1985 this is when um the weekend he's balling okay this is when uh back in the 80s they used um people they didn't use celebrities they didn't lose use influencers 
shout out to the influencers, our kids are influencers, and to the celebrities. However, back then, they used professional models, which they still do today, but a lot of that work is now celebrity driven. Um, right. That can be a whole other topic of discussion. However, um, Carl came up and pursued a career as a professional model, and he was working for Zoli. Yeah, Z O L I. Zoli, I believe, is still, is still around, right? They both could be. I think I don't Click know. and Zoli is still around, I think. Anyway, so he did that. He was doing that. And like I said, he just moved up here from South Carolina and uh, actually stayed at his grandparents' house, lived at his grandparents' house in North, New Jersey. New Jersey. North New Jersey. The place I was born. Yep. In and the so hood. Came, in the hood. came up here. And one night, I went out with a friend of mine, Neville, and Neville and I went to the club in New York. We used to go Neville to Bentley's funny. in New York City on Madison um, Avenue, and we used to go to, me and my girlfriends would go after work and just dance all night. Like I said, Bentley's, Danceteria, Limelight, all these clubs, Studio 54 even. Anyway, so we would go to all these clubs and go dancing. And one night, Neville says, oh, Vern, let's go to the city and, and we'll go to Danceteria. And I'm like, oh, I really didn't feel like going. But he was like, let's go. So I went. And we're there. And, you know, if we, um, Danceteria has different floors, different types of music, different vibe, each three floor. Le three levels. Three or four levels, three I don't four remember. Levels, yeah. Well, whatever level we were on, I don't even remember. Um, I was with walked my in. Yep. Was with he was cousins. with his cousins. I was with Neville. And but also your girlfriends, I thought. No, I was just with Neville oh, that night. Oh, okay. And um, I see Carl. He sees me. And I'm like, who is this dude? Because he's so fine. Except his, he had on like these country boots. My favorite <laughs> boots. Step. Love those boots. I'm always like, he looked kind of country. Kind of, I don't even want to say rock and roll. He looked kind of country, kind of trying to be New Yorkish. Like I'm from New York, so I know New, New Yorkish. I was working in the city. Oh, I was a fashion designer working in the city. Um, at that time, I was traveling a lot. I would go to Hong Kong and uh, Taiwan and Korea uh, and Spain and Italy and Europe to 